something over it with that grey wash. See it and hopefully it'll show up well on the time lapse, but <coughs> I use a paintbrush to point out I left there uh, some bits of paper that were on the original thing and it looks like plaster cracks. I think it's quite effective. I don't know if it shows up well on, on the camera as the paint's drying. As you can see it there. As if the paint is cracking. The paint is drying still, so it is a bit of variation in colour. But I'll bring you back when uh, when it's dry. So this is the edge of the uh, platform building and what I did I, I left, intentionally left. I should the paper left on as if posters had been ripped down. So that's obviously where it's dry and the grey. And I wanted it to look like an effect on that side as if it had been ripped down like old post-war photos. Obviously I've got to tidy this part up here. Yeah, but uh, I may put a notice board on this area uh, to cover that up if it doesn't work. Obviously the grey is drying on the front. I don't know if you can see that very well. But we, uh, we'll paint the roof as well. I'm going to change the colour of that. Maybe a more of a terracotta colour. Uh, just a wash, I think. But we'll keep going and we'll see where it ends up. So a little bit of progress on the... Uh, on the painting, I'll turn it that way so it shows up a little bit better. So I'm currently just going around the windows and doors on the other side. Uh, again, that effect of the plaster and flaking, I'm quite happy with. It's starting to dry on the other side. And I think that looks okay. I'll bring it a bit closer. So we'll crack on and see how far we get on this one. And I'll bring you back, thanks. So we're back, we've painted the first coat of grey over here around the uh, entrance area. So there, it looks like this paint is flaking off on this side. Which is uh, quite a good effect, I think. And obviously we'll come around to this side. I, I think I might go over that. I think it's a little bit too much. Um, we'll see. See, I've left uh, little sections like this part on. It just adds a little, little like the weathering effect. Obviously, it's a bit. I'm on a budget, so I don't have the right paints to do this. So, if you can see that closely, I think it looks quite effective. As if it's bumpy paint, flaky paint, and a little bit disused. So it looks a little. I think I like this part of it there. I think we're going to go for that effect on the other side as well. So yeah, that's uh, so far. I'm quite impressed with the colour. And we'll be able to touch it up and weather it a little bit more. Maybe put some uh, greens around the, the tops and in the corners of the uh, of the eaves just to give it that effect of a little bit of moss. Maybe on the tops of these parts. I need to change the colour of these. I think I'm going to go for a darker or maybe a lighter grey to go around the uh, doors frames. But yeah, it's coming on. We'll, we'll get there. Uh, so I'll bring it back and I've mixed up a, a darker grey. Just check that part. <clears throat> a darker grey to go around the windows and doors. Obviously, I think I need to tone these doors down uh, a little bit. But obviously it's a, it's a lot greyer and maybe have to tone this down a little bit. And obviously when I weather it, it might look a little bit uh, more effective. But we're, we're slowly getting there. It obviously looks like more of a, a country style station building hopefully that's the look i'm going to go for yeah, but thank you very much for checking it out and i'm going to do a part two uh, where we we fix up the roof do a lot more to do with the roof the chimney pot maybe try and put a bird's nest on the roof of the chimney pot something i was being thinking about i'm going to put fill in around the bottom edge of the uh, station building there and uh, maybe do something on the platform uh, I've Maybe put posters on, on the walls here. But it's a work in progress and we will get back to it in another episode. So thank you so much for tuning in. If this is something you like, please put a like on the video, subscribe, comment. And I'll catch you all in episode two.